What is going on gamers? Today was the official release for the new console for Microsoft, the Xbox One. In this video, I'm actually going to talk about Call of Duty Ghosts. It was actually revealed at the end of the conference, so I have a bunch of new information for you guys. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. So Call of Duty Ghost takes place 10 years in the future where the US and its economy has been totally torn apart, collapsed, it's, it's gone, there's, there's no order left in the US, um, and the only really big uh, faction of soldiers that remains is the soldiers that you're a part of, the Ghosts. They take part in um, taking back the US from this unknown enemy that has brought US to its knees. Another really cool feature that was announced during the conference was uh, one of your actual teammates will be a dog, a German Shepherd K9 unit, whatever you want to call it. Um, you really know the K9 unit from multiplayer. You know, if someone gets like a 20 kill streak, they call them the, they call them the dogs, and you're basically dead. So in the story for Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, your dog can sniff out bombs. He can um, sneak past areas. It's actually a really cool idea. They actually did a video comparison for the graphics, which I'll talk about later, where you see a dog from Modern Warfare 3 and a dog from Ghosts. And to be honest, it has been improved vastly for the graphics, with the gameplay. And uh, speaking of gameplay, the gameplay looks really, really good. They said that you actually can vault over cover now instead of just hopping over like a robot. And um, you can actually slide into cover. So if you're running, you can hold down B, slide, shoot while you slide too. And um, most people on like my friends list and people I've talked to recently, they said it reminds them a lot of Battlefield. And they said it's just turning into Battlefield. But to be completely honest, I think it's just reinventing itself. I think Call of Duty is totally going into a new direction that it needs. Um, during the conference at the end, or sorry, at the beginning, um, the, one of the lead producers said that Call of Duty is going towards the uh, non-safer route. He says that we could have just took the safer route with making Modern Warfare 4, but no, we took the unsafe route and made Ghosts to take that step in the future. And I will say thank you, sir. Thank you for taking that step because I think Call of Duty Ghosts so far looks really, really good. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the story for Call of Duty Ghosts. The actual developers hired the writer of Crash, that movie Crash that was, I think, a couple years back. Um, if you guys don't know, that movie is very emotional. It's very racial. It's very shocking. And um, it, it, when you watch that movie, it really makes you feel like, wow, people are really like that. And it, it got you emotionally. And one of the main things about the story is that they said was they want this story to grab the player. They want that player to feel all the emotions that the uh, that the characters are feeling in the game. And that sort of reminds me of the Walking Dead game from Telltale. They totally put so much emotion, so much energy into making that game feel like it was real. And I think that the people at uh, Infinity Ward are going to give this guy the reins and he's just going to write an, a fantastic story for Call of Duty Ghosts and I cannot wait to play it. So the next aspect they talked about in this conference was the Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer and the two big things that stood out to me. One of the big things was dynamic maps for multiplayer. If you guys know, the multiplayer maps for Call of Duty aren't really that interesting to be, uh, to end with. Like, in the beginning, they're really cool, and then you sort of just be like, oh, okay, the map's cool. But for Call of Duty Ghosts, they want to change that. They want to give the multiplayer maps some character. They want to give it some, some life. So basically, um, if you're running down the street and you go over a landmine or a triggered uh, a bomb, it will destroy you, uh, leave a crater in the earth, uh, flip a car if you were right by a car into a building and destroy half of the building. So they're going to have some uh, environmental damage, you know, like I said, give the environment some life, which is something I would like to see in a Call of Duty game. The next big thing is character customization. Now, in Call of Duty Black Ops 1, they sort of utilize that, sort of. Um, you can just change the way your guy looks and his weapons, and that's it. Um, in this one, you can make uh, how he looks completely. You can change his helmet, you can change his arm pads, his elbow pads, his shoes, to, to the camo on his outfit. It's really, really cool how they said it. Um, I'm really excited for it. Uh, one of the lead producers that was actually leading the conference said this. We could have just took the safe road and made Modern Warfare 4, used the same engine, all that stuff. You know, wasted everyone else's time. Or... Instead, we can just take the hard route and make Call of Duty Ghosts, make that leap into the future for Call of Duty. And to be honest, per my personal opinion, they needed to do this. I'm so happy that Call of Duty Ghosts is taking that leap forward, making some new changes, giving us that breath of fresh air that gamers really need for shooters. Um, and I'm really excited to play Call of Duty Ghosts, and I was really impressed for what they showed. Infinity Ward and Treyarch have been using the same Call of Duty game engine ever since Call of Duty 2 all the way up to Black Ops 2. To me, that's way 
out of line. I don't like that. I think it's really bad that they took two console generations with the same engine. That tells me that they weren't trying. That tells me that they weren't trying to just entertain the gamer. They were just trying to get a money grab. Now, in this one, they have a brand new engine. They have a brand new way it works, the way it plays, and I'm happy to announce that I'm excited about it. So, in the video they um, they showed, it was a comparison video between Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, they didn't put any Black Ops 2 stuff in there because Black Ops 2, of course, was um, it, it was improved graphically a little bit, but um, to Modern Warfare 3, to Ghosts, it looks completely amazed. It looks completely better. Um, the graphics from Modern Warfare 3, they look good far away, but if you look up close, it looks crappy, the textures are horrible, but in Ghosts, it looks better from afar and even better up close. Um, it took a screenshot of two heads, one from Modern Warfare 3, one from Ghosts, um, again, and uh, you can just see the comparison of like the facial structure, the facial features, the pores, the the sweat going off his face. It, it sounds creepy, <laughs> but um, to me, it just it looks a lot better, and I'm happy to say that I am excited for Call of Duty Ghosts for them to integrate a new engine, all that new stuff, and I'm very excited for it. And my last keynote for this video is about the Call of Duty gameplay trailer they showed at the end of the conference. Now, this gameplay trailer was really emotional, and I liked it a lot. It basically showed what the game is about, the story, the aspect of what you're dealing with, who you're dealing with, and actually who you are. So, like I said, you're part of this ghost faction, um, basically the last known help for the United States. Um, and in this trailer, it, it shows you that the guy who wrote Crash, who's writing this game, he basically gets into your heart, plays with your emotions, and makes you play this game. Now, the one thing I'm really worried about is the dog in the game. I hope the dog doesn't die. <laughs> um, I, I would hate to see that in a game. Um, that right there, I, I was imagining. I'm like, oh, the dog's such a cool feature, and then they're going to kill him off later in the game, probably in the ending. I hate that. I, I hope they don't do it, but if they do do it, it'll be a very shocking moment for the game to happen. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching gamers. I'm going to end the video right here. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought about the Call of Duty Ghosts, all the stuff I said. Um, if you guys have seen the trailer, let me know what you thought about it. I'm actually going to get the trailer up on my channel later. Um, but until then, thank you so much for watching once again. If you guys like this video, click subscribe. It'll help me out a ton. Um, if you guys want, you can follow me on Tumblr and Twitter. Um, I post all the new gaming info I find on there as it releases. So until next time, gamers, peace.